Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the worst hack client for Minecraft 1.21.3. So first you're going to need to go ahead to these websites here. We're going to need to download Java, or the latest version of Java, if you do not already have it, assuming this is your first time using the client. It should just be an EXE that you can save to the desktop. Next we're going to go ahead and download the Fabric Installer. You can go ahead and hit the little Download Universal Jar, or you can hit the Download for Windows. I normally just download the Jar file. Go ahead and save that to the desktop as well. Next we're going to need to go to the worst client page itself. I'm going to scroll down until we find the worst client MC 1.21.3. Do make sure to check the version that it is the latest version. Go ahead and click this and we can go ahead and save that to the desktop also. And next we're going to go ahead and download the Fabric API, which should be right next to the 1.21.3. Make sure you download the one that's right next to it. Go ahead and click that. should prompt you with a download to save location. I'm just going to go ahead and save this to the desktop. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you can cross all of these pages off. Now if you do have the launcher or the game open, you're going to need to close that for now. Now, if you've downloaded all these files and they have this little coffee icon, it means you've already got Java, which means you do not need to click this installer here and you can delete it. However, if these do not appear as little coffee logos and they just look like blank files, you will need to run this Java setup. I've already got it installed, so I would just skip this, but just to show an example of what it would look like if you clicked it, it is just your regular Java setup. Go ahead and double click this. It'll give you a do you want to allow this app to make changes. You just go ahead and tick yes. And it would prompt you with this window here where you would just go ahead and hit install. I do already have this installed but you can go ahead and hit the install button and it will just run as normal. Eventually prompting you with this little loading window and it shouldn't take too long. Alright, now upon opening the game you should know that it has worked because it will say Minecraft 1.21.3 Fabric Modded at the bottom. Just to show you how to use the client, I'm going to go into a single player here and create a new world just for demonstration purposes. I'll go ahead and call this uh, Worst Test 1.21.3 and I'll just set it to Creative for <laughs> use of ease. Ease of use, rather. Okay, so upon loading the game you should have an extra option when you press escape. And this is the worst options and here you can find the key binds which will show you all of the shortcuts to the different hacks that you can enable just by tapping buttons on the keyboard so you do not have to open the menu. But if you do want to open the menu to see all of the hacks, by default I think it is the right control button should open up the hacks menu. So tapping the right control button, that's the, the control button that you don't um, normally use to, to sprint if you have it set to sprint on there. But anyway, it's over the other side of the keyboard, the side of the keyboard that your mouse normally is. Uh, pressing control will open all of these little boxes here. Now you can't do anything with these, but by hitting these green arrows you can open and see all of the different options here. I'll just enable air place uh, for demonstration. And we can now do all sorts of things like place blocks in the air, uh, which you cannot normally do. You may be annoyed by this little worst sausage logo that is up in the top corner here. If you want to get rid of that, just go over to the UI settings and click this little green arrow down the bottom here. This should have a setting called worst logo. You should be able to drop this down and change the visibility over in this box here from always to only when outdated. As I know at the moment, the only way to get rid of it is to set it to only when outdated. You can't just get rid of it. It will show up the sausage logo if you are using a later version. Anyway, you can cross that off and you can get rid of that. And that is uh, pretty much everything you need to know. Some useful shortcut keys. One is X for X-ray. You can go ahead and hit X again to get rid of it. One is G for flight. Uh, one is, I believe, U for free cam, which allows you to move 
even uh, around and view things without actually moving. So if you were to tap U again, you will go back to where you were before. And there are some other useful ones. For instance, K is multi-aura, just to demonstrate that. It will attack multiple entities at once. Um, there's not multiple entities here, but um, anyway. Go ahead and disable that by pressing K, pressing K again. And that's pretty much everything you really need to know. If you really want to see all of the different options that you can do, you can just go into the settings and muck around there. You can change the uh, x-ray blocks that will show up. And you can also go through here and add keybinds. I'm not going to get into the details of that. And go ahead and go back. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, so thanks for watching and have an excellent day. Goodbye.